Okay, now I got everything working. I was wondering why my video weren't working. I didn't have it set on video. Great, new system. Hi everybody, this is an update, another one from Old Uncle Al. I've been living off of, for the past month, Diet Coke and completes if I work in the kitchen cooking. Okay, I'm tired. I had a rough couple of months. It's FEMA or feeble. Always show up two months later. All right, a lot of you have no idea. It's sunny and 80 degrees. Okay, what's going on so far? I didn't have internet service from 9 a.m. until 5.30 this evening. Okay. I helped out a girl and uh, like she didn't she was waving her phone and the thing didn't take it because we don't have internet service so I loaned her ten bucks two fives here buy your lunch you know a lot of people wouldn't do that because why they don't carry cash so first thing you kick your friends in the nads when they use cards and their phones okay Apple wallet pay sucks especially when the internet's down. Why it's down? West of us, all the towers are down. When it's flood and there's six feet of the water and the wing catches the tower and it's on soft, muddy dirt, that's why I've been wearing hip waders for a month. You wear hip waders for a month, you lose weight. Okay, slogging through that stuff. A lot of people says, it's so dry here because we're at 310 feet, you dip. All right, a lot of you are not ready for what's coming up. We're going to have the rough summer. Okay, you see that big black cloud coming over the mountains? That ain't rain, that's bugs. Okay, we still have a million gallons of water from the ghost lake. A lot of people going, what's a ghost lake? Until their truck runs out and they like, yeah, it's a mirage. Until they went in six feet of water. No, you're a dumbass. Okay, if you see the telephone poles near ground level, what does that mean? Okay, we have all sorts of problems because a lot of bedding plant nurseries around that area are underwater. So if you're looking for a certain plant in this area, not the LA area, because they have a different region, it's going to cost you a lot. Okay. I tell this to people because it's going to be a rough summer. And quit calling those little battery generators. Generators. It's a battery unit that uses solar power to recharge, which takes anywhere from two to six hours to recharge in bright California sunlight. Okay. And you got to have it rated for air conditioner refrigerator and freezer now I have big box trunks freezers and I test out if this works or not if it doesn't work I ship it back and I write to them when I get money you're going to get litigated all right I am NOT a nice person okay so make sure you have a, some kind of fuel generator for this summer. Screw around. You want it for your AC. Do not put the generator underneath the AC. It should be a window mount mounted as for one room. Keep you and the dogs or whatever nice and cool. Okay, I usually pick out a family room. Plenty of room. You can sleep in there. Dogs, kids, whatever. Second thing, non-essential electric devices. If it's not for the AC, if it's not for the freezer, and it's not for the refrigerator, you don't need it. I keep telling my family this and they're looking at me, well, we gotta play games. Good, go outside. But our Game Boy don't work out there. Well, what did kids used to do before they had Game Boy as the next boxes? Do something outside. I'll give you shovels. They weren't too happy about that. I'm, you know, walking around hip deep in that stuff. They're going to get a lesson in the first hand. Okay? Now, big thing is 
you're in LA, you're in one of the pocket valleys or pocket canyons, make sure you have plenty of water. I keep telling people you could get the, like Lowell's, they have a water service. You could pick up five or two and a half gallon jugs and you get a, a ceramics dispenser. I got one from a thrift store and I put it in a disabled Betts apartment. And it's set up, it's on a wooden stand, it works great. And his wife and him can put a two and a half gallon jug on it. And the service comes in, they'll do it for free and also for a five gallon one. So they have 10 gallons of water there for them and their dogs. If something goes wrong, okay? A lot of you don't have the skill or know-how. This is my fourth at, uh, let's see, SHTF. So it doesn't bother me. I lose a lot of weight at the time and I'm very impatient and I curse people to hell. Okay. Now, nice thing about these, I went from 48 of these if I'm not cooking. Now tomorrow I'm going to make a ham and kale quiche. Also I'm going to make a, uh, whatchamacallit, spam and ham, uh, whatchamacallit, casserole too because I have to cover two different houses because Uncle Alan likes to cook okay and first out I have to shout out Ernie Hatmaker check her out she does a lot of gardening it's really good and help her out because she lives in Arkansas and people don't understand we didn't have the winter blast that's supposed to happen so it's going to be a rough summer it's going to be very humid it's going to be hot you watch the skies Okay, it's going to be horrible. All right, it's not going to be fun. It's going to be horrible. How bad is it? Look at uh, Thailand and Indonesia, 120 degrees. Okay, we're going to have that. And if you're in Arizona, New Mexico, Colorado, Texas, go up, go from Lawton, Texas, and you go straight up, you draw a line until you hit other states. That's how bad it is. Okay? You're going to expect hailstones, like right now in Idaho. I keep telling people, watch the skies. They always laugh at me. If you knew what I was doing, you'd be like with a shotgun and a helmet and hiding in your basement all your time. Uncle Alan doesn't do that. All right? I live in occupied California. For 31 years and I'm going to fight and get it back and defeat the evil empire that's here all right proposition 57 didn't work proposition 47 didn't work so you boat out the vi those uh, uh, what you call it? advocates or advisors or whatever bureaucrat and you go back to the old days no more carrots you use a stick. I like this stick because I couldn't get my Chinese mallet, which is bigger and has steel head. Okay, a lot of people don't know. I know things that you don't know. All right, like Indonesia. All right, a lot of people don't understand it. Why do we have to worry about Indonesia? Because you're a bunch of idiots. All right, they have a gas and oil industry, but we're going to electric power. No, you're going to a tier system, pay more taxes. But we're off the grid, doesn't matter. You're going to be paying more taxes. People are stupid because you have a stupid government like the empire. But we are safe and secure as slaves. Go look at the tenderloin or Skid Row. All right. Uncle Alan's not a nice guy. All right, if I was in politics, I'd probably be assassinated two weeks into office, correcting everything, and a lot of people be out of jobs and like, what I'm going to do next? Well, Uncle Alan's got you to shovel all that. But it's a pile of, yeah, it comes from a cow's butt or a human's butt. But, all right, you'll be shoveling a lot as not making more roads. All right, I'm tired. Go check out Harshman Hills. Uh, let's see. 
He's making splatter targets. I wonder how his neighbor's feeling getting shot up with BB guns. Like I said, Uncle Alan's tired. Okay, it's a rough summer. A lot of you, you might have a cool room. Make sure you have a gas powered generator for what? Your AC, wall mounted unit, window mounted unit. Okay, that's not regular AC, you know, um, central air. It's for one room only. If you're like Gil at Cap Patton's family, bleh, Cap Patton's family compound or Grainman prepping, here he has the room bedroom set up like that, so he gets nice cool air this summer. A lot of you are not set. It's going to be a rough summer, and they're going to try to raise taxes and do all sorts of hair brain insane things. So best thing I always recommend people is get ready and be prepared. It's going to be horrible. And then for sassy gal prepping. Okay, check out sassy gal prepping. Uh, uh, what you might call it? Sassy gal $5 Friday. You pick up five bucks and you try or make five bucks. And you try to find so many things you can find on sale to restock your food supply. Once you get your food supply taken care of. You've got to get ready for what? This summer. Blackouts. So you want something to cool yourself? To maintain your refrigerators and freezer? All secondary units? Skip it. Because you want food and water and someplace cool to sleep. When it gets 120 degrees. Like Austin, Texas. Who's going to laugh that? Okay? Because I already did the math and... Only if you, we got this cool breeze and we're living in Tennessee. Yeah. I hope you have flood and tornado insurance. But I parked my car. I, oh, God. It got hit by goose size hail. Or worse, we don't know what, but a tree fell on it. Okay. So you better be ready. It's going to be a rough summer and they're going to try to do all sorts of stupid things. And don't believe in the green con. You know, that all the pollution. Okay. What percentage of carbon dioxide, you tell any of these greenies, is in the Earth's atmosphere? And if they don't give you the correct answer, less than one hundredth of a ten percent. Okay? Most of it's nitrogen. Most of it's oxygen. Other pollutants. And then you have carbon dioxide. All right? It's on Google. Just look it up. They have a big pie circle. And carbon dioxide doesn't even make a little line. Okay, everything else on the other pollutants, yes, they do. But that could be easily fixed. So don't believe in the hype. Don't believe in the crazy leftism politics because their math is wrong. Yes, we're having climate change, but not for, yeah, it's caused by cows, butts, and CO2 by mankind. You kick them in the nads and you tell them to move to Canada. Because if I'm right, and the Earth moves, there's three possibilities. It moves a couple inches. So we got another hundred years, and we make it through the past. The, the whatchamacallit, this, this southern climate change, if it moves 43 degrees, all the old places in the world, the accent, legends, and myths and stuff, it's going to happen again. Like God told to Noah, first fire and then ice. In scientific terms, God will shift the planet. Okay? <laughs> okay? But the air and water will not stop. Okay? During that shift. Okay? It's like you're not wearing a safety belt and I slam on the brakes at 120 miles an hour. Who's going to go through the windshield? You are. And this is for Hubble's cat. Okay? All that wind is coming at 200 miles an hour. Right to where he lives. Okay? Follow, if you're on the coast, you're going to see the world's biggest surfing problem. That's why Uncle Alan made plans for a certain part of southwestern Australia and South Africa. And a couple parts of South America. Okay? 
I know who, where the tides are going to possibly hit. On the West Coast, a lot of people says, well, that isn't bad. No, San Francisco is going to be horrible, and so is the Delta. But the rest of California, if they had that move, the rest of California and the coast and British Columbia is going to see anywhere from one mile to two mile high tidal waves. Further you go down, the plateau, plateau is going to shift. In other words, half of California is going to rise up. So Uncle Han's going to be about a thousand foot above sea level. Okay, we're at 310. We only need 700 feet, so we don't have to worry. What we have to worry is all the water coming back towards the other way. All right, Southern California, you have two choices. You're going to be back before, let's see, 100,000 years ago, which was not fun. You remember all those salt beds? Well, they used to be salt land marshes and freshwater oceans and streams. Okay, a lot of you didn't understand that, but there was a shallow... Another myth, but I don't want to get into it because it gives me a big headache. If I ever go on the wild file, I'll make sushi out of the, uh, what's my call, hecklefish, and then kick the other guy in the nads. Because Uncle Alan's tired. All right, you should be all prepared and ready. But I could survive in my home. If it's on fire and underwater, you're screwed. But it's like, what's going to happen next? First fire, then ice. I wonder how you're going to survive when it's 56 below zero. You're not going to look too good. Okay? We're going to have climate change. You want to stop it? You do everything best you can. Three things kill mankind. Pesticide. Plastic. And pollution. All right? It's not CO2. It's not methane. It's not how much it you make. If you were, you would be screaming at China. They're the biggest polluters on the earth. Okay, and they're going to get hit so hard, it's not going to be funny. That's why China's going to have a six-way nuclear war with itself. Because everybody says, okay, you idiots did it, we're coming after you. Nothing better than screaming mass of people, mad as hell. Okay, folks, I'll catch you later. Here's advice. Know your neighbors. Right now, have a barbecue. Okay, I had a nice neighborhood this weekend because they see me working all the time, me helping out, me getting wax rings, fittings, and fixing their toilets and everything. They hold a nice barbecue. Why? Because they know old Uncle Al. Because I'm always helping out. I plant fruit trees. You know a neighbor? Plant a fruit tree. So love old Uncle Al. I help him prune. I help him set up. Okay? A lot of people don't have that source of community. All this right here is an illusion. All right? Get to know your neighbors. Carry cash. All right? Waving your phone for today or try and do a card on ATM don't work. Cash is still king. So if you hear a federal government, we're going to a digital economy, you kick them in the nads. All right, and drag them out of office because a lot of people are really stupid. All right, so like I tell a lot of people, this is the wrong time if you think it's going to be unicorns and roses. Well, I got the truth, and the truth hurts. All right, Uncle Alan's going to make money, and Uncle Alan's going to be well, Uncle Alan, you don't have debt, no. And I found out I had three thousand dollars that came out of nowhere. Okay, I don't have it now, but somebody owes me three grand, they have to pay it up. Or I'm litigating. I have a few things, and I'm donating half to my church to help them out for all the flood victims. All right, Uncle Alan doesn't have money, but Uncle Alan knows how to live, and Uncle Alan has friends. All right, so I'll catch you later. Make sure you watch Ernie Hatmaker. Sell, tell him Uncle Alan sent you over there. And go check out Harshman Hill shooting up his neighborhood with BB guns or something. I'll be seeing you. Bye now.